We've got 10 incredible things you didn't know about Victor Wembanyama. And before we get going, comment how many points you think he will average when his career is done. So, let's begin. Number 1. Victor Wembanyama is a giant. Most basketball players are tall, but Victor Wembanyama is even taller than most of them. He's part of a special group called 7-footers, which means he's more than 7 feet tall, or 2.13 meters. He's incredibly tall, standing at 7 feet 2 inches, or 2.22 meters, which is much taller than the average NBA player, who is about 6 foot 6 inches, or 1.99 meters tall. Same when we got 7'5 dudes who's able to do everything on the court, you know? Being so tall is a big advantage when playing basketball. Victor's height runs in the family. His dad is 6 foot 6 inches tall, and his mom is 6 foot 3 inches tall. That's why he has such big feet, wears 20.5 shoes in the US, and even needs custom-made basketball shoes because his feet are so large. His long arms are also exceptional, with a wingspan of 8 feet. Very few NBA players in history have had arms that long. Bro is literally a created video game player. Now, if that didn't blow your mind, get ready for this. Number 2. Victor the Renaissance Man while Victor Wembanyama is most famous for his tall presence on the basketball court, he's more than just an athlete. He's a true renaissance man. In addition to his basketball skills, he's an accomplished soccer player, a keen fan of art, and an avid reader. Victor's love for soccer is evident, and he enjoys kicking the ball around when he's not on the hardwood. He often takes time to visit museums and art galleries to appreciate various forms of art. So, don't be surprised if you find him browsing through books at a bookstore in between photo shoots or showing off his footwork on the soccer field. Victor Wembanyama is not just a one-dimensional athlete, he's a man of diverse interests. Number 3. Victor Wembanyama Rejected FC Barcelona Back in 2018, when Victor was only 14, he played in a big tournament in Spain and some of the best young basketball players in Europe. He wore the jersey of a famous team. Barca, and they did well, finishing in third place. Victor was already super talented even at that young age, and the coaches from Catalonia, where Barca is located, noticed. These coaches were so impressed by Victor's skills that they wanted him to join their team. Now, that's a pretty big deal because FCB is considered one of the best basketball clubs in Europe. But here's the interesting twist. Victor said no, he turned them down. Why? because he felt the coaches in Catalonia might be too nice to him. He wanted coaches who would tell him that he was doing wrong and push him to the absolute best. That's some serious dedication to getting better at the game. Do you have a nickname for your favorite NBA player? Well, if you do, please share with us because finding Victor a nickname has been a headache for everyone. Number 4. Nickname Quest One interesting aspect of Victor's journey has been the ongoing quest to find the perfect nickname for him. While many NBA stars have iconic nicknames, Victor's name has posed a challenge. Some fans have taken to calling him Y by shortening his last name, but the nickname hasn't quite caught on. This has sparked creativity and discussion among fans, leading to various suggestions and debates. From the French Tower to Victorious, fans are determined to find a moniker that truly suits his exceptional talent. The search for the ideal nickname adds an element of intrigue to his growing NBA career. It is rare to find people who are interested in sports with a hobby of reading, like seriously, isn't that too interesting for an NBA superstar? Number 5. Victor's Top Shelf Reading – Game of Thrones Victor Wembenyama is not just into basketball, he's also a big fan of reading. He likes all kinds of books, but there's one series he loves, and that's Game of Thrones. You might have heard of the TV show, but it's based on a bunch of books written by a guy named George R.R. R. Martin. So when Victor isn't playing basketball, he's probably lost in the world of Game of Thrones. He's all about the exciting stories, characters, and places in that epic fantasy world called Westeros. It's like he's having his adventure when he's not on the basketball court. Ever heard about destiny, or maybe signs and symbols? If no, then Victor's career start will definitely make you believe in it. Number 6. Victor's Positive Beginnings before he even got to play in the NBA, Victor Wembanyama was already becoming a basketball sensation. When he was just a teenager, he went up against a big NBA star named Rudy Gobert, who was famous for being good at defense. Now, here's where it gets interesting. 
the young Victor didn't just play against Gobert, he scored points against him easily. It was like he was saying, hey, I'm here and I can compete with the best. This awesome moment showed everyone that Victor had what it takes to be a big deal in the NBA. It was like the first chapter of his amazing basketball story. But where is he actually from? Do you know that? Let's find out. Number 7. French Roots Did you know that Victor Wembanyama, the rising star of the NBA, was born in Nanterre, France on January 4th, 2004? It's not just his birthplace that's interesting, his background is a melting pot of cultures. His father, Felix, belongs from Congo and was a versatile track and field athlete, excelling in high jump, long jump, and triple jump. His mother, Elodie de Fautero, is a basketball coach and a former player. This unique blend of heritage and talents makes Victor a compelling figure. With his roots stretching from the vibrant streets of France to the distant lands of Congo, Wembenyama represents the global nature of the NBA, and he could potentially become only the second number one overall NBA draft pick born in Europe, marking a significant moment in the world of European basketball. Hang on, it's about to get even crazier. Number 8. No College Experience One fact about Victor Wembenyama is that he took an odd path to the NBA. Unlike many players who honed their skills in U.S. college basketball, Victor bypassed that route entirely. Instead, he made his journey from the European leagues straight to the NBA. Wembenyama's decision to refrain from college ball didn't hold him back. In fact, he was selected as the first overall pick by the San Antonio Spurs in the 2023 NBA Draft. His choice to blaze a distinct trail showcased his determination to be something entirely fresh in the basketball world aspiring to be a player who's never been seen before and will never be seen again. So, while many stars get their start in American colleges, Victor Wembanyama's path to the NBA is an unforgettable departure from the norm. Now, let's hop over to the next incredible tidbit. Number 9. Favorite Food Victor Wembanyama's love for breakfast tacos is a delightful discovery among the 10 things you might not know about him. His move from France to Texas comes with a tasty twist. He's already on a mission to savor the finest breakfast tacos in his new town. In San Antonio, the breakfast taco scene is no joke. The local newspaper already boasts a list of the 24 best breakfast taco places in town, showcasing the city's deep taco culture. Victor's choice of favorite food not only adds flavor to his life, but also highlights his ability to blend his international background with the vibrant local culture. Onward and upward to the next remarkable detail. Number 10. Victor Wembanyama Record in a World Cup Even though Victor Wembanyama is quite young, he's already making some amazing records. In a big basketball tournament for players under 19 years old, he did something really special. He averaged 14 points, 7.4 rebounds, and 5.7 assists in each game he played. That's like being good at scoring, grabbing the basketball, and helping his teammates score, all at the same time. His incredible performance helped the French team win the silver medal, which is a huge achievement. But here's the super cool part. In all the international competitions, not one has ever blocked shots as much as Victor did in that tournament. He's like a human wall, stopping the other team from scoring. That's a big deal in basketball. In conclusion, Victor Wembanyama is not just an NBA player. He's a multi-dimensional talent with a charming story. From his love for art and literature to his quest for the perfect nickname, he's a player who fights simple classification. We've explored the intricacies of his life, from his humble beginnings to his rapid rise in the basketball world. As Victor continues to make waves in the NBA, there's no doubt that his story will keep evolving, creating new chapters that will keep fans intrigued and engaged. So, whether you're a basketball enthusiast, an art lover, or a bookworm, there's something about Victor Wembanyama that makes him stand out, and his journey promises to remain magnetic.